Good morning, dear students. In the previous class, we began with the topic of voice, active and passive voice. And we were thorough with the introduction of that topic. We gathered why do we need voice in grammar? How do we change it from active to passive? About the subject and object being at each other's place. Now, in this video, we will be taking up the table that you can see on your screen. Now, as for this table, we will see the treatment of each sentence in each tense of active voice. How we will be changing a sentence of a particular tense to passive voice. And what is going to be the difference in treating the statements from various tenses. Now, see, we begin with making this table. We will make this table with rows and columns where, is, where we will put the headings simple, continuous and perfect. And in the columns, we will put the heading present, past and future. When we cross these, we will have present simple, present continuous, present perfect. In the next row, we will have past simple, past continuous, past perfect. And in the third row, we will have future simple, future continuous and future perfect tense. Now, these are eight tenses. These are nine when we cross the bl blocks. But I hope you can see a cross in future continuous. So, the sentences of that tense cannot be transformed to passive voice. And remaining three out of total 12 tenses, which are perfect continuous of present, past and future, can also not be transformed. Hence, we have eight out of the 12 tenses where we can change the voice. Coming to the first one, present simple. Let us take example. I play cricket. When we change it to passive voice, we will bring cricket, which is the object on the subject position. Cricket is played by me. How did we change these? See the rules below. I told you we will be using verb be in any of its forms. So in present simple tense, that form will be is, am, are, depending on the singularity and plurality of the subject. Here cricket is singular, hence we took is. Then I told you we will be taking third form of verb, which is played. Cricket is played. Then I told you we will be using preposition by and the subject in active voice will become the object in passive voice. That is the interchange of subject and object, the fourth rule here. Like this, we change the voice of the statement in present simple tense. Moving on to present continuous tense. With the example again, he is playing football. Bringing football to the subject position using is as the form of be. But it's not just is that we will be using here because that is what we also used in present simple. Here we will be using being with is am are. So football is being played which is third form of verb. Preposition by and he will change to him. Now seeing the rule form of be is am are plus being. Third form of verb, use of preposition by and subject object change. Now you will notice one thing when we move on to present perfect tense and other consecutive tenses. That the four rules that are mentioned in each block, out of those, three are same for each tense. Only first one where we have the use of helping verb or use of form of be is changed for every tense so that is what you need to primarily notice but i would still like you to note down the second third and fourth point in each block so that it 
fits into your conscious brain. I want you to repeat it all eight times. Moving on to present perfect tense, taking the example, he has done his work. Passive will be, his work has been done by him. So form of be here, what we have used is, has, have, been. So any out of has or have, depending on the subject, plus been. Rest three remain the same. Third form of verb, use of preposition by and subject object change. Moving on to present, sorry, moving on to past simple. Taking the example, he wrote a letter. Passive will be, a letter was written by him. So, since it is past simple, we will be taking was, were as the form of be. Rest three rules again stay the same. Moving on to past continuous. Because it is continuous, we will be using being, with, was and verb as the form of be. Example is, he was buying gifts. Changing it to passive, gifts were being bought by him. Now this he is changing to him or I is changing to me. This is owing to the nominative ob and ob subjective and objective case of the particular pronouns, which we will be covering separately in the cases of pronouns. Moving on to past perfect tense. Past perfect tense. Example is, he had eaten his food. Changing it to passive, we have, his food had been eaten by him. The form of be that has been used here is, had plus been. Rest three rules remain the same. Third form of verb, eaten, use of preposition by, and he coming to object position and becoming him. Moving on to future simple tense. The example is, she will help him. Answer is, he will be helped by her. Form of be that we have used in simple future is, will, shall, plus be. Also, we have used the third form of verb here, with the use of preposition by and bringing she which was the subject to become the object with the word her. I told you future continuous tense we will not be changing it to passive from active. Moving on to future perfect tense. Example I will have read the story. Changing it to passive the story will have been read by me. Now rules are form of be that we have used here are will, shall, plus have, plus been. Third form of verb use of preposition by and subject becoming the object and object becoming the subject. With that we cover this table which explains the change of voice from active to passive depending on each particular tense and as i had already told you only these eight tenses we can change the voice that's all for today's class in the coming class which will be the third and the last part of this topic we will be covering a minor branch under this topic Till then, be thorough and prepare your notes as per the classes till now. Thank you.